face. Faith? Oh, there you are. You're going up to town today? Later. You couldn't give me a lift to the station, could you? That's true. <laughs> what is? I couldn't give you a lift to the station. Oh, come on, Faith, it's raining. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm reading the paper. I don't want to go out until later. And have you got 50 pence? I haven't got any change for the oh. coffee machine. You want me to give you money as well as drive you to the station? What's in it for me? I'll buy you lunch. Oh, well, I don't know if I'm free. Never known you turn down a decent meal. I meant for afterwards. Oh, no, not another afternoon of torrid passion in some seedy hotel. Oh, any objections? Shall we say Luigi's at one? Well, can you make it quarter two? Oh, uh, but it'll something on account. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, could we talk about next month's cover in praise of motherhood? I'm sure we could, but it would be merely for our own amusement. Well, I don't find it amusing. This is a style magazine, not mother and baby. I don't care about next month's issue. As far as I'm aware, you don't care about any issue, but you are the editor. Not anymore. Oh, Duncan has sacked you. I am on indefinite leave. Paid? This isn't about money. Unpaid. I explained to him about my circumstances. You told him you were pregnant? He was quite shocked. Probably wondered if he was the father. That's rather ungentleman there. He was very sympathetic. Oh, so he fired you sympathetically, did he? He did not fire me. I told him I was on my way to see him anyway. The timing couldn't have been more perfect. Oh, I see. You resigned before he fired you. I said I had the feeling it was time I moved on. Oddly enough, you're not the only one who thinks so. This isn't entirely goodbye. Isn't it? More à bientôt. Why? You'll still hear from me. Duncan says I can contribute any ideas I may have from home. Oh, everything pretty much as usual, then. And then when the baby's <laughs> been born, I'll look for something interesting. With a title and about 2,000 acres? So you need not wait for me, Bill. I'll try not to. Actually, it was all rather amicable. Duncan was very sorry. What have Duncan got to be sorry about? Leaving me penniless, almost. What about your pension? Don't old people queue for those at counters? <laughs> Your company pension. Everybody contributes. Well, nobody told me I should. Uh, I think the pensions clerk was terrified to ask you your age. A lady's age is her own business. Not in the world of pensions. What are you going to live on? I have a tiny ex gratia payment. Duncan says it was for services rendered. Yes. <laughs> Let's just say there are one or two credit card bills you might find it difficult to explain to Dolores. Mm. You mean hush money? I'm surprised he didn't give you the car as well. Oh, he did. <laughs> Joe! <laughs> I'm going to work. How interesting. Don't forget to take the dog out. What are you, Mum, all of a sudden? Just do it. I'm pacing myself. What for? A sleep marathon? I've got a busy day ahead. Doing what? Creating unpleasant odours? I'm filling in my college application form. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought so. What? Where it says sex, you've put yes, please. <laughs> Good one, eh? <laughs> Believe it or not, they have come across that before. But I just made that one up. Oh, no. What? Any disability. This is brilliant. Go on. Large hump on back and fear of church bells. <laughs> Joe, you're applying for an economics course, not blind date. Well, they get hundreds of these boring answers, all the same, but they like a bit of a laugh. Take it from me, this is not a side spitter, and writing in green isn't a good idea. Well, that was deliberate. I felt the green pen said, here is an individual, a free thinker. It doesn't. It says, here is someone whose gloves are still tied together by a string of elastic. <laughs> but apart from that, you like it? Well, at least you didn't sign it Mickey Mouse. Sorry I had to cancel lunch. Yes, so was I. And I was also pretty cheesed that you got Beverly to ring up and tell I me. Was, uh, I was rather tied up. So she said. I've only just got in myself. The train was packed. Guess how I came home. Fairy chariot? Pretty close. <laughs> Look what I've done. I've put oil on this blouse and I only just bought it. Oh, never mind. Oh, 
You've had a lunch, though, haven't you? Ooh. Two bottles of wine and a large brandy. Oh, I think I fancy a new shirt sort of lunch. Actually, I yes. did. Mm -hmm. Well, I had a cardboard cheese and pickle sandwich at Waterloo, oh. so I don't want overstuffed, abnormally happy people in here. Go out and come in again as normal. <laughs> Guess how I came home. Ooh. Is there an echo in here? In the editor's car. Oh, the old bat gave you a lift, did she? What you have to do, hang on to the bumper while she whips you through the window. <laughs> Liza has been sacked. <sighs> Prayers do get answered, then. <laughs> and guess who is the new editor? Dougie. Mm -hmm. Mark Freeman. Mm -hmm. Caroline Matthews. Uh, David. Oh, no, it couldn't be him, could it? He got the sack. Um, I know, I know, don't tell me. It's Brian, isn't it? Oh, well, that's all right, isn't it? Mind you, he's got terrible breath, hasn't he? Still, never mind, you can fax everything these days. <laughs> it is not Brian. Um, well, is it that bloke from Special Projects, then? Cos he didn't get the sack, did he, after that expenses scandal? <laughs> well, who else is there? There's me! <laughs> you? You're the new editor of Vista magazine? Yes, well, acting editor until the board confirms it. Well? But I thought you were... What, past it? No, I thought you weren't interested in the job. You said you never wanted to be the editor. Well, it's different when they actually ask oh, yeah. you. Too much socialising and not enough real work, you oh, say. Oh, no, there's still, there's still plenty to do. Too many smarmy creeps and accountants to keep oh, happy, you said? Think I'll be able to manage? New suit as well? Yes, yes, it is. Mm. Yes. It goes with the new image, does it? Yes. Well, I've got to look the part. So you'll be slipping into a velvet smoking jacket and a cummerbund for dinner, will you? <laughs> I thought we'd go out for dinner tonight. Celebrate! Oh, I've defrosted some mints. <laughs> What's the matter? Nothing. Oh, yes, there is. No, no, I just, you know, stained my blouse. It's not that. You cancelled lunch. Yes, well, that, that happens, you know that. Now, come on, now, what is it? Nothing. It's all right, really. Look, it doesn't matter. It's your night. I'm very happy for you. Yes, I can see how thrilled you are. <laughs> Wyatt's have cancelled the book. What, the one you were illustrating? Yes. The new editor, apparently, is not interested in the history of the vegetable. Obviously a man with no taste. <laughs> Two months I spent on the life cycle of the cauliflower. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I took it out on you. And you've got brilliant news. Oh, you'll make a wonderful editor. Mm. I shall need some help in the office. Well, that's right. I'll send my mum round to do a bit of dusting. <laughs> Why don't you come in and work for me? Me? We can't even go around Sainsbury's without a fight. It'll be just like when you were freelance, only you'll be there all the time. But I can't, can I? Yes, you can. Your project's been cancelled, remember? Are you doing this because you feel sorry for me? Well, certainly not. Well, one short in the art department because I'm acting editor. It's a sensible editorial decision to employ a good artist. Cheers. Can you start tomorrow? <laughs> well, yes, I suppose I can. You could uh, come and lean over my drawing board and we could exchange meaningful glances and we could have lots of intimate lunches like we were going to have today. Well, I'm the editor now. <laughs> oh, I see. Have I got to call you Mr McGregor? No. Sir, so will do. <laughs> I hear there's going to be a happy event. Oh, you mean the baby? No, I mean you leaving Vista. <laughs> So you're going to work after this baby's born? Only you didn't do much work before, did you? I'm not in favour of working mothers. Your mother worked, didn't she? And it shows. Liza, sit down. I am. What can I get you? You trust me, I'm a doctor. I'm looking after Liza. And how is the wee bear? This child's name is down for Eton or Cheltenham Ladies College. It is not a wee bear. Well, they're all wee bairns where I come from. Where you come from, surely. They're simply maggots. Which brings us neatly back to today's specials. Do you know what Liza wants? Yeah, it's not on the menu. Do you know? You're absolutely right. Could you do something rather unusual for me? Have I ever let you down? I'm talking about food, Richard. <coughs> Tell him over there. Uh, Hannah, do you think... Those are your tables. I'm needed here. Richard? Do I get the idea that one of you would prefer to serve at my tables? 
Liza is rather a... Handful? Rather a precious customer. I'd like some oysters. I am not Tinkerbell <laughs> with a little strawberry jam on the side. Is that too awful? Oh, well, no, it sounds fine to me. <laughs> yeah, it would. You can have whatever you desire. And a pint of Guinness. Oh, she's becoming almost human. <laughs> Go. Not while I'm eating. Please. I'm off to work. Goodbye, Mum. Have a nice day. Can you leave me some money? What? <laughs> I gave you money yesterday. Yeah, but I got a cab back from Gina's last night. Uh, you got a cab? I didn't get cabs when I was your age. Well, they didn't have cabs when you were my age. <laughs> if you had stayed in your job, you would have money for cabs. It's too early for this. Listen, it's ages until you start college. You could at least have stayed working until the last minute. But I hated that job, OK? Five will do. For what? Oh, I want to get a video. Joe, I am working. You are not... Oh, and they say mothers know nothing. <laughs> going to have a video. You are going to clean up the kitchen, walk the dog and put the hoover round. Should we say £4.50 an hour? Forget it. I did offer. Oh, yes, good. OK, we're off then. Well, I'm off. Well, so am I, with you. In the editor's car. But I'm not going straight into the office today. Aren't you? No, no, I've got to go to this opening of this new hotel in Kent somewhere. Oh, why didn't you flame and tell me you couldn't give me a lift? Well, I didn't know you were expecting a lift. Well, we live in the same house and we work in the same place. Yes, with different jobs. Oh, really? So I've got to get the train, then? Well, I'm not making you get the train. Yes, you are. You're not giving me a lift. All right, I'll give you a lift to the station, well, OK? Well, yeah, but then hang on, because if I'm going by train, I've got to have flat shoes and get my coat and I'll just... But uh, just, a minute, just, a, just a minute, I can't wait till you replan your wardrobe. My driver's waiting. Ooh. We've got a driver, have we? <laughs> if you told me, you could have come into the servants' hall and had curds and whey with the rest of us. I have a driver today, because there will be drinks at this reception. And you might fall down drunk and sing rugby songs. I do not drink and drive. So, why don't you get the train with the rest of the workers? Do you want a lift, then? No. Right, I'll see you tonight. Well, what time are you going back to Oh, dinner? I forgot to tell you. Um, Duncan wants me to go to some awards do at the Dorchester with him, so don't cook for me. You can shut up. <laughs> we'll go together to the Dorchester, OK? That'll be fine, Duncan. I'll tell my driver to pick us up here about 7 o'clock, all right? Thank you. By the way, I like the new cover. Good, good. Bill, darling. Katie! Oh, how are you? My word, you are looking <laughs> wonderful. So are you. Mm. Promotion becomes you. Mm. Mwah. Mwah. Mm. Mm. You even <laughs> smell good. Oh, sweet smell of success, sir. Why don't you come into my office? <laughs> I love Malaysian food. <laughs> Faith! Good heavens! Faith! <coughs> what happened? I shall be asking you the same question after lunch. What did I 
say to you? Here's 20 quid, go out and enjoy yourself. <laughs> I said, would you clean up and take the dog out? Oh, I bet the poor dog hasn't even been in the garden, has it? What have you been doing all day? I'm sorry, move your leg. So that's what you've been doing all day. <laughs> right, it's Gina, isn't it? Oh, we're just good friends. <laughs> Joe, you come in here and do the washing up. No, Gina's waiting for me. So am I. Well, I'll do it when I get back. Well, when's that? Thursday. <laughs> what have you been doing all day? Working. In that stupid wine bar, I suppose. No, in that really nice wine bar. Listen, my girl, it's time you thought seriously about your future. Look, Mum, it's not my fault Billy's acting editor. What? Well, you're having a go at Joe, and now he's starting a balmy conversation about my future, and it's all because... No, Bill... no, it's all because I have been working It's all because Bill is getting these perks and cars and posh lunches with flash women, and you're hacked off about it, aren't you? Not much. Yes, you are. <laughs> I come home. It's raining. I've got the bags. There's a points failure at Club Mum, Junction. shut up. And I'm the only person that seems to do Mom, any work... that is enough. Now, this is an amusing sancerre with a distinctive fruitiness building to a gooseberry nose. Oh, yeah, what are you doing with it, then? One of the wine reps gave me a couple of bottles. Now, we'll clear up all this and then we'll open it. Oh, no, let's open it now. What about all this lot? Well, what about this lot? Do you know, in the old days, mums used to hand down their domestic skills to their daughters. Well, I haven't got any. I noticed. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Richard. Anything else? Top hat and tails? I should have realised it was a black tie, too. Have a good time. <sighs> oh, look. Haven't you got one of those elasticated jobs? I can't believe you even thought such a thing. Come here. Mm. How many times have I done this for you? Never, to my knowledge. I'd start off by tying your tie, and then we'd get distracted, and before we knew it... We'd be in the middle of a row, and you'd be trying to strangle me. Yeah. What would you do without me? Live happily ever after. You off somewhere nice? Oh, this do at the Dorchester some awards do. Oh, yes, of course. They'll be expecting to see me there. I'll tell them you've eaten already. Faith slipped into her floor-length crimpling, has she? No, I'm going with Duncan. I think that's wise. What is? Keeping Faith in the background. I'm not. Introduce her as your partner and you can say goodbye to the editorship. Faith has not been invited tonight. Well, I'm not surprised. Hardly on the A-list, is she? Yes, well, I'm off. Bill, it's very important for the editor to choose the right partner. Someone who can move with ease through the upper strata of the social scene. Faith is very good at mixing with people. Only when she's taking their coats. <laughs> People like her. She's warm. She's entertaining. Yes, I hear she juggles with kiwi fruit when the conversation flags. Once. She did that once. Everyone was very impressed. Bill, I do so want you to get this job confirmed. Choosing the wrong partner can do so much damage to your prospects. And your health. If only you were still married to me, what an asset I'd be to you. Yes. Isn't it a tragedy? <laughs> She came back from London and she said, Do you notice anything different about me? Well, the thing is that I had always thought their eyebrows met in the middle, you see, and the light wasn't very good, and I should have checked. And I said, Yes, you've had your flaming eyebrows plucked. <laughs> and then there was a terrible silence. And then she said, very quietly, No, I've had my highlights done. <laughs> I said, Oh, that's very nice. <laughs> and then she waited a minute and then she said, What's wrong with my what's wrong with my eyebrows? <laughs> You've got better at work tomorrow. <laughs> Bet your life, though, she's plucked her eyebrows. <laughs> oh, it's the boss. Ten. Shut. Oh, I can't walk in these feet. <laughs> Any more of this pizza? Yes, please. I want the bit with the anchovies. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Bill. He is not Bill. He's Sir. Good evening, Sir. The staff are having a night off. <laughs> Is that pepperoni? Yes. <laughs> mm, my favourite. Can I have a bit? Oh, yes. And the pizza. <laughs> Hi.
Good night, Duncan. Thanks for the lift. Bye, Duncan. That was brilliant. Thank you. You know how important it is to create a good impression. I do, and I thought I was wonderful. You showed me <laughs> up. Oh, please. Look, these people look seriously at the editor's wife. I, I'm not your wife. Well, as good as. Oh, is that a proposal? It certainly is not. Good, because I certainly wouldn't marry a climber. I ought to be able to bring the managing director round to my home without my... my Significant uh, other? What? That's what I'm called in America, you know. I am your significant other. Well, you were certainly <laughs> significant tonight. Significant as a newt. I was relaxed. You certainly were. Well, I didn't know I was being vetted. You should have rung up and told me you were coming. Well, this shouldn't be necessary. Oh, I see. So I'm supposed to sit at home in a beautiful suit with a graded row of pearls on the sofa with my knees together in case you happen to be passing with Duncan. Well, at least you could have been fully clothed and sober. <laughs> I only he had my shoes off and he likes me. Being polite. Really? Polite enough to eat half my pizza? Because he was embarrassed. <laughs> oh, by me, I suppose. Yes, by you. Did you have to tell that joke about the vat of honey and the synchronised swimmers? <laughs> he laughed. It's a funny joke. It's the first laugh I've had all week while you've been glamming it up at every social event and lunch and reception. Do you know something? We don't even have breakfast together anymore. In the, in the, in the office, you ignore me. You treat me like one of the staff. Well, in the office, you are one of the staff. Well, I know that, but... Well, I was fed up. Just needed a drink, OK? A drink? <laughs> well, I'm sorry, but you knew I was going out tonight. We just don't do things together anymore. Right. Well, it's not too late. I don't mind if I do. I'll wash and you can dry. <laughs> I, uh, <clears throat> I wonder if you could have a look at this drawing. Oh, we're talking again, are we? Faith, this is the office, OK. OK, what's the problem? Well, I don't get the feeling of tropical heat filtering into the room. Don't you? And I wondered if you could just... Um... Redo it. Yes, well, if you wouldn't mind taking a look at it. Anything you say, sir. <laughs> look, um, I've had a cancellation. Um, have you? Fancy some lunch. Well, I, I'm, I'd, I'd, Come I'd on. love to, but um, I bumped into Duncan this morning. Really? Yes, in the lift, and he was thanking me for the pizza. And the jokes. Was he? Mm. And we found we'd got a lot in common. <laughs> what have you and Duncan got in common? He suggested that we find out over lunch. Oh, I see. So you, you're having lunch with him, are you? Well, I couldn't well say no, could I? Right. Well. <clears throat> <clears throat> Paula, now, about that kitchen unit. I was only kidding. <laughs> don't, 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 don